Hello, this is Miss Shante with Shaketi Ed, and today I'm going to be reading from Little Legends Exceptional Men in Black History by Vashti Harrison. Today I'm going to read about James Armistead Lafayette, circa 1748 to 1830. Whoa. Revolutionary War Spy. Not much is known about James's life before the Revolutionary War. He was born enslaved in Virginia and his owner who managed military supplies taught James to read and write so he could be a better worker. During the war against the British, British James heard that any slave who fought for the American Continental Army would be freed if the Americans won the war. He got his owner's permission to enlist and in 1781 was assigned to serve under Marquis de Lafayette, a young French aristocrat fighting for the American cause. At first, James used his knowledge of the Virginia landscape to transport messages. But then James and Lafayette had a better idea. James could spy on the British. Posing as a runaway slave, James went to the British camp commanded by Lord Charles, Charles Conwallis. Cornwallis, I'm sorry. James helped lead troops through the unfamiliar land. No one suspected that he could read and write. So generals and other soldiers talked about their tactics in front of him, and he was given access to British maps and plans. Secretly, he memorized details and reported back to Lafayette. James became so trusted by the British that he was asked to spy on the Americans. He agreed, but gave the British only false information. Equipped with James's accurate information about British troop size, strategies, and morale, the Continental Army defeated the British at Yorktown. Effectively, ending the war, imagine Cornwallis's surprise when he entered Lafayette's headquarters to surrender and James and saw James there. After the war, enslaved people who served as soldiers were free, but James had not technically been a soldier and he was not free. He petitioned for his release, but was ignored. It wasn't until Lafayette wrote a letter commending James's service that his petition was granted, and he was freed in 1787. James took the name Lafayette to honor his commander and friend. He lived the rest of his life as a farmer and a family man, secretly one of America's greatest heroes. How great it would be to be a spy! Oh my goodness, during the American Revolution, what a great person and friend to have around. And here is a picture of Mr. Lafayette. Anyway, I encourage you to read Pick a Spy. I'll have a lesson listed below. Have a great day!